Okay, let's carry on and order a part. Let's pretend that you need a part for a P back end. Go on over to the index. Go into the 3D section, back ends. Select the 3D back end. And the three dimensional pitch will open. The first thing you need to do is click anywhere in the picture so the program knows you're now here. You can move this assembly around. Put your cursor in the picture, click the left mouse button, and as you click the left mouse button, the part will rotate. Scroll wheel moves the part in and out. Just push both your mouse buttons down together, and you can pan the part. Now, let's order a part. First, I'm going to explode this part so that I can see everything inside. When you click on the part, so you click on a part like that, at the top of the screen, that part will be shown. Here's the part number, here's the part description, and here's the num amount of those parts you're going to need in this assembly. Let's order this part. Let's order 12 of them. What happens when you order a part like that? That part goes over onto your worksheet. Let's have a look. There we go. You can see where we put 12 parts in, uh, in here. This worksheet, you can go in here any way you want and type in, uh, like for instance, this detent plunger. Let's order six of those and seven of these. See what I mean? This is a very, very handy worksheet. You can print this out and take it over to the job site and uh, order parts or look at uh, the um, schematics and whatnot. Or email it if you'd like. Let's go back to the 3D. Here we are. And also on this page is a help, just in case. Very, very quick uh, quick help uh, section for you here. And of course, if you went over to the index, you'll find a big, uh, a, a big help section here. We'll go back to our P back end. Okay, let's send out our order. Go over to the index. View the parts order. And what happens is the program goes through all of the worksheets that you made up and gets all of the parts that uh, you ordered and puts them together in an email. Once you get into the email, make sure you type in your name. don't know how to spell my name yet. Your phone number if you'd like uh, somebody to phone you. Email address and it's always nice to put a message. See what I mean? You can put anything you like in here. And then, of course, when it's ready, just click the send button and it'll send that message for you. Okay, we'll just clear that parts order out for now just to show you how to do it. Clear the parts order. And we'll just check to make sure everything cleared. Everything looks good. Okay, that should be enough to get you started. And like I was saying earlier, if you need any help, do not even hesitate to just quickly email us at admin buffalocustom.com and we'll get right back to you right away. Thank you very much. You have a good day.